The Assassination of William McKinley Chapter 1 The Triumph of the World's Fair The World's Fair was something that America was really looking forward to. It was an opportunity for the United States to entertain the world all with amazing inventions, innovations, music, and more. The gates opened in May of 1901 and for months entered with excitement and awe. But on September 6, 1901, something very tragic happened that would affect the world. The World's Fair was held in Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York, in the early 1900s, was the 8th largest city in the United States. It was a great location because it was close to Niagara Falls, which could provide an energy source to light up the fair with Tom Edison's in innovation of electricity. This would mean that the World's Fair could be lit up any time, which attracted people to go to the World's Fair. Many people attended the World's Fair because of how amazing it was when it was lit up. Many people also enjoyed the entertainment, such as theater, at the World's Fair. Chapter 2 William McKinley's Announcement In March of 1901, President William McKinley announced that he would attend the World's Fair. As soon as people heard, everyone wanted to go to the World's Fair and meet William McKinley. People were excited to shake hands with the president because they would probably never do it again. William McKinley also wanted to attend the World's Fair. He had heard such amazing things like how fun it was and how beautiful it was at night. Not only did William McKinley want to go to the World's Fair because of the entertainment, but he also wanted to tell America the great things he had planned. Since many people were going, he wanted to meet government from other countries and make a treaty or agreement with them. William McKinley wanted to expand America by meeting people of other countries at the World's Fair. Month before attending the World's Fair, he decided to write his speech that he would present at the World's Fair in Buffalo, New York. This speech was very important because William McKinley wanted a government from other countries hear the speech and help him expand America with trade. Chapter 3 The Tragic Life of Leon Chogas Leon Chogas had a very difficult life. In the early 1900s, America was getting stronger and so did the threats against it. Anarchists such as Emma Goldman were trying to take down the government. Many people followed leaders such as Emma Goldman to try to take the government down. Hello, my name is Emma Goldman. I am one of the leaders of the anarchist movement. In the word anarchy, an means without and archy means leader. This means that we shouldn't have a government or have laws that we should follow. I have very strong beliefs about the role government plays in people's lives. During the speech of the anarchist Emma Goldman in May of 1901, Milion Chogas was motivated and determined to kill William McKinley. After the speech, he joined a newspaper company named Free Society. This newspaper company made newspapers attacking the government and convincing people that they shouldn't need laws to follow and how they should be free from the government. When William McKinley had announced to the world that he was going to the World's Fair, Leon Chogas thought this was the perfect opportunity to kill him at the World's Fair. Chapter 4 The Two Worlds Collide President William McKinley was planning to stay at the World's Fair for 10 days. William McKinley stayed in a large home of the Expose's president, John G. Milburn. On September 5th, William McKinley gave a lot of speeches. The stairs and stages were filled with crowds with excitement to see the president. After he was done with his final speech, he decided to see exhibits and experience the magic of the World's Fair. He also made a trip to Niagara Falls and decided to see the resource that helped light up the World's Fair. The next day, September 6, William McKinley was scheduled to shake hands with the crowd. William McKinley was with his guards in the first few minutes but decided to let some of them go because he thought he was safe and didn't need protection. William McKinley was having a great time shaking hands with people but the worlds of the 25th president and an angry anarchist with bad intent were about to collide. When Leo Chogas approached William McKinley, William McKinley thought his handkerchief wasn't suspicious and didn't question anything. 
As soon as William McKinley shook hands with Leon Chogas, Leon took out his gun and... Leon Chogas had shot William McKinley two times in the abundant and was stopped by William McKinley's guard before shooting the third shot. The triumph of the World Fair had turned into tragedy with the pull of the trigger. Chapter 5 The Death of William McKinley After the shooting a few days later, many people believed that William McKinley would survive. There were many newspapers stating that he was alive and well and could be reading the newspaper anytime. According to the vice president at the time, Theodore Roosevelt stated, You may say that I am absolutely sure the president will recover. Theodore Roosevelt was so sure that William McKinley would recover that he went on a hiking trip. But by September 13, six days after the shooting, William McKinley's condition was in trouble. The second bullet managed to go through his stomach, which made him very weak and terribly sick. The second bullet gave William McKinley gangrene, which made him lose a lot of blood. Gangrene managed to give him food poisoning, which made him deathly sick. At 2.15 a.m., President William McKinley was announced dead. While Theodore Roosevelt came from his camping trip, a train stopped him and informed him that William McKinley was dead. Chapter 6 The Aftermath Shortly after William McKinley was shot, Theodore Roosevelt was heading into the presidential office. Also, many people in free society were arrested along with Emma Goldman. Emma Goldman and many others were released, but not for Leon Chogas. On September 23rd, 90s after William McKinley's death, Leon Chogas was planned to go to trial. Leon Chogas had stated, I killed the president because he was the enemy of the good people, the good working people. The judge had found him guilty and three days after, he was sentenced to death. On October 29th, Leon Chagas was executed and killed in an electric chair. Chapter 7 The Effect After the tragedy of William McKinley, America decided they needed to protect presidents 24 7. Theodore Roosevelt was the first president that was protected by Secret Service agents 24 7. Shortly after, the 1903 Immigration Act was passed on. This act was passed on so anarchism wouldn't go on. This means people would go to jail if they kept believing in anarchism. America's and other countries' priorities are to keep the president safe because they do not want the assassination of William McKinley to repeat itself again. Additionally, William McKinley's successor, Theodore Roosevelt, went on to create national parks and the Panama Canal. In conclusion, the assassination of William McKinley had many triumphs and tragedies.